Now it's time to define your application. In itunesconnect.apple.com, you need to choose Manage Your Applications. This is the section where you build out your app before you submit the binary to Apple. Choose Add New App to begin building out your application. First pick the default language for the app. Next type in the app name. You can type in a SKU number. This is a unique ID for your app and does not connect it with the bundle ID. The bundle ID is connected by choosing it from the list of bundle IDs below. This is the app ID you created in developer.apple.com. Choose continue. If you get an error message about the app name, that means that there is already an app with that name in the app store. Next, you can select the availability date for the app. You can make it for today and set the actual release date later once the app is approved. Next, you can pick the price tier for the app. If you made a one-off app using the remote reader and you wanted to sell your app, this is where you define the price of your app. If you are a monthly magazine, you most likely will give the app away for free and charge per issue. For the one-off app, you could pick a price from the price tier, or for the monthly magazine example, you could define the price as free. Click on View Pricing Matrix to view the pricing list. If your app is for sale, you can choose whether or not a pricing discount is available for educational institutes. If this is a custom B2B app and you are a volume purchase program customer, you can also check this. If you only want to sell your app in certain countries, click on specific stores to check the countries you want to sell your app. If you don't define which stores you want to sell it in, it will be sold worldwide. Click Continue to proceed to the next screen. Next, you can enter the version number. Since this is your first app, it will most likely be 1.0. Enter the copyright information. Then pick the primary and secondary categories for your app. You need to pick the Apple content descriptions to tell Apple whether or not there is violence, nudity, horror, etc. The next section is metadata. You need to type in the app description, keywords which are used when people are searching for your app, and the support URL that a customer can contact you through if they are having an issue with your app. The marketing and privacy policy URL are optional. The app review information is information you provide to the Apple reviewers. At the top, you provide your contact information. The Review Notes section is a special place for you to tell the review team the structure of your app, what you plan on selling, how you plan on selling it, what the content is about, and why this is relevant. The more information you can contain here, the more likely your app will be accepted rather than rejected. Next is the End User License Agreement. You can provide your own or the standard EULA will be applied. Finally, you need to supply your app icon and screenshots. Click on the question mark to the right to get exact sizing information. If you didn't make the app for an iPhone, don't add screenshots for the iPhone. And if you only made an iPhone and not an iPad app, do likewise. You can add as many screenshots as you like. Save it when you are done.